Welcome to our first video on linear regression training. And we're not going to cover too much in this video. We'll talk about exactly what a data set is, and we'll talk about the linear assumption. And just a note, we're not going to do applications in this video. We have a set of data points, and we're going to assume there's a linear relationship between these data points. So we have the value of x and the value of y. And we assume the relationship between x and y is linear. And we want to model this relationship with a line. So we have a set of data points denoted in red. And we want to use these data points to obtain the equation of the line. So this step is usually called the training step. So we use the data points, and we train the model. And for the case of linear regression, we're going to get a set of parameters, the bias and slope term. We'll make a prediction. And in PyTorch, this is called the forward step. So we obtain the equation of the line. And we can make a prediction for any of the x values. So for example, we can make a prediction if x equals 1.5, and we get the value of y, or if x equals negative 2. So our actual data set is an actual set, and we have the different values for x and the different values for y. So let's clarify that with an example. So over here, we have the vertical component and horizontal component. And the first and the horizontal component is the first element of this tuple. And the horizontal component is the second element. So the convention is to store these data points in the tensor x and y, where x represents the horizontal component of the data point, and y represents the vertical component. So basically, each row of the tensor represents a different data point. So in linear regression, we, we assume some kind of noise is added to our model. So the horizontal axis represents the value, and the vertical axis represents the probability of that noise being added. So sometimes a small positive value is added, or a small negative value. Occasionally, a very large positive value is added. But usually, most of the values are very close to 0. One important thing to notice is the higher the variance or standard deviation of the noise, the more the points deviate from the line. And this is sometimes called the noise power. So in our labs, we're going to create our own data just because it makes things easier to understand and the results are reproducible. So we have tensor x, and we're going to map it via some linear function, and we get the following values. And then we're going to add some normally distributed independent noise, and then we get our tensor y. So we're going to use these samples to obtain our parameters for our model, and then test out our model. So that's it for this video.